Welcome to another chemistry video. So heat wave has struck Germany and it's absolutely disgusting leaving me with a lot of sunburns but nevertheless I'm going to do some chemistry outside and we'll be processing this. This stuff is what we are left with. If you are driving off all the water from the sodium terephthalate that you get by cooking drain cleaner with pet bottles. That's the junk. And we will be getting rid of all of this dirt and purifying it, washing it with isopropanol. This stuff actually stinks quite a lot. First of all, I'm going to fill up this covered bowl. So, the first task of the day is transforming this goo into a filtering funnel. First assembling the squirt bottle. That will be our main piece of equipment today. Main piece. I'm absolutely sweating. Just five minutes out here. Dug myself into the basement. So I guess first comes the goo. But before I do this, I just forgot to wet the filter paper a little bit. Pull some nice little vacuum. And it should seal tight now. Yeah, not that great. Now I have to try to get this out. So the first batch of crude sodium terephthalate is unloaded and instead of dissolving this with water and then trying to wash it out, um, drop it out with sodium, uh, no, with sulfuric acid, this time I'm trying to purify the sodium terephthalate instead and then get pure sodium terephthalate which will be later dissolved in water because you can see there are heaps of impurities. Just need something to steer in there. I'll be right back. I just remembered I once made these John Wick style Chinese um, Chinese, how do you call it? Food stuff? Food sticks? And they are pretty good for pinching someone because they are sharp. But this time I'm going to use the other end for steering. stuff is pretty goopy but it should all dissolve since it is soluble in isopropanol. It might just take a lot of isopropanol. Time for filtration. Something's happening. So the main thing we are exploiting here is that sodium terephthalate, which is soluble in water, as well as glycerol and propylene glycol. I mean, these are the main products of um, the mm, base. This uh, I don't know the word therefore. We just cook this with basic sodium 
hydroxide and it decomposed here into sodium terephthalate and glycol and we use propylene glycol as solvent so we still have this in there so these are the rem remainings um, sodium terephthalate glycol propylene glycol they are all soluble in water so we could use this to filter the non-reacted plastic pieces out as I've shown in my first video but it still leaves us with a lot of other impurities as you can easily see here and I tend to have them in the uh, terephthalic acid I get because it's very hard to filter it so most of the impurities just stay in there and stick to it and here isopropyl mold does dissolve glycol and propylene glycol but it does not dissolve sodium terephthalate so this is the appropriate way to filter it well, I decided to do two filter runs for everyone hoping that the second filter one and here it definitely outputs a clearer isopropyl mold so I should have removed the dirt from the first one but I believe it's quite pure after two filter runs I don't want to waste too much of my isopropanol for this. And immediately one can see that it, it is not more a slurry but it's now a powder that easily dries and it's much whiter compared to the paste I started with, which is brown while well, this is white. Also, the throughput is quite clear. So I'm going to dry this, and then we will re-dissolve it in water. And I know that the sodium terephthalate solution we worked with, and we got the terephthalic acid from in the last video, was brown like this. And this is not how it should be. So let's take a look at what our work yield. Definitely impurities got removed. I'm going to transfer this and then I'm going to pr uh, process the second batch. So this should be now easy to be removed. Instead of a paste, we now got a powder. That's easy to work with. And we got rid of a load of impurities. So I'm going to keep half of this, put it back in the storage container, and the other half we make to terephthalic acid. Everything's ready now. There is the dirt. Here is our sodium terephthalate and the new filtering setup. Time to dissolve it in water. And of course, stirring it. Still a bit of white, but far better than it has been before. Really, far better. And the unthinkable has happened. Terephthalic acid actually filters smoothly. Never had this before. It was really the impurities that prevented filtering it to a dry powder that is extremely pure now. <laughs> 